All right, so as you can see here, I got two drives with errors in there. <clears throat> They're old drives anyway, and I knew they had um, errors on them. But <clears throat> what I'm going to end up doing, if I go over here to, over here to main, we're going to take a closer look at disk one and disk two. So looking at disk one, disk two, they're right here. These are the two, one's 500, one's 750. So I'm going to replace it with the blue here. And then I got a five terabyte drive here that I'm going to replace that with. So to do that, we're going to have to stop the array. So I'm going to go down here and hit stop to stop the array and hit proceed. All right, now once it's stopped, I'm just going to change this to no device for my 500 gig. And I'm going to change my disk to to no device for my 750 gig. Let me just go down here. And I can say start with disable the mini disk. I'll hit yes. And I'm just going to start this in maintenance mode. And hit start. And this way we can set up there and these disks are not installed. So now I can go ahead and hit stop again. And now that they're stopped, okay, they're not reading those drives, so I can actually go down there and replace the 750 and the 500 terabytes. So, <clears throat> 500 terabytes, I'm sorry, 500 gigabytes. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and um, replace those drives. All right, so I got my drives, so I'm going to go put them in, and then we'll come back to this all right so I put those um, discs in if we go down here we still see the 750 the 500 and that's because we didn't refresh so we'll go ahead and refresh this and now I come down here it reads my 5 terabyte and my 1 terabyte as it should we'll go up here I'm going to sign Five terabyte to the first one, and then to the second one, I'm going to go with the one terabyte, and then at the bottom, all I got to do is hit start, and it restarts the array, and I added those just to the drive. All right, so as you can see, like up here, I got this message: unread data rebuild. <clears throat> That's because I still had data on disk one. I didn't really have anything on. Um, this to it says being reconstruction is available for normal operation but that's because I didn't really have anything on disk two but on this disk up here it's rebuilding um, my data on there I did back it up before I stopped this process in fairness but I did want to check out the redundancy um, of a failed drive so since I was replacing quote unquote bad drives this kind of replicates that and then once it's um, rebuilt, we should be good to go. All right, so as you can tell, right here, we got like 14 hours or so before we're done. So we'll be here a while. All right, I'm back. And as you can tell here, my data rebuilt, finished with um, zero errors, which is good. And then down here, it's saying disk 2 return to normal operation, the disk 1 return to normal operation. So we got disk 1 and disk 2, they're green, ready to go. So I'll just clear this out. And then if we look and I go to disk 1 or disk 2, I'm sorry, you know, I'll have data on it again. And same thing if I go to disk 1 up here. I'll have data on that as well. So everything uh, came over and it came over good. So we're good to go. And that's how you replace a drive that was bad.